Piers, let's go back and Based talk a little bit story. about uh, the news from yeah. uh, that swimming organization. They have approved a gender inclusion policy that means only uh, they will only permit swimmers who transition before the age of 12 or puberty to compete in women's events. What does this mean ultimately for athletes? Well, it's huge and it's a, a massive long overdue victory for basic common sense. You know, anyone who's tried to raise concerns about this issue, as I have now for several years, gets immediately abused and called a transphobe and all the rest of it, when actually it's nothing to do with being transphobic. It's all about fairness. I support trans rights to fairness and equality, but I don't support their rights to diminish or degrade women's rights, and that's what was happening in sport. And we all knew it. You know, Caitlyn Jenner has been on Fox many times recently just talking common sense about this. And she should know, you know, as a male athlete, she was an Olympic decathlon gold medal champion. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, if she was to now compete uh, as a decathlete against women, she would have destroyed the field and broken records irrevocably. That's what this is about. It's about fairness and equality. So I applaud FINA. I hope that other sports authorities do the same. But what I also noticed in their ruling was that they're suggesting a, a new kind of open uh, tournament, which would be for trans athletes. And I think that's the way to go. Nobody wants to see trans people unable to play sport. So it seems to me there are two choices. They either compete against their biological status. So if you were born a male, you compete against males, even if you're a, a trans woman. Or you have your own category and you compete against other trans women. And those, those seem to me to be the two right. fairest ways through this. So I think it's a really groundbreaking ruling. I'm glad it's happened. But why is it controversial? You know, we've got to stop portraying these kind of things as controversial. Well, this it's not, every you know, not to the average people, just the loudest people. It's, For the loudest it's people, it's controversial. Uh, but that's just my hope is, Pierce, this is going to ripple. Uh, ripple to other bodies and other sports, all the way down to the high schools where they're going to go, yeah, I'm just going to mm -hmm. go with what the world bodies are saying. And that's where the high schools will have cover for the protests and what have you. I think women have a right to compete against women. Since when is that a bad thing? Well, I completely agree. And you know, I saw Megan Rapino, the big soccer star, women's soccer star today, uh, undoubtedly brilliant at her sport, but she's come out condemning this ruling and saying you've got to be completely inclusive to trans athletes, to which I would say this. Megan, do you remember when you got beaten as world champions, the female American team were world champions, and they got beaten 5-2 by a bunch of under 15-year-old boys. Now, I don't say that to score any points against the women. I think they're a terrific team, the American women's soccer team, as you call it. I prefer football, but I'll, I'll use the vernacular when I'm on your show. Thank you. Uh, but I think that they're right there. When she tweeted today her outrage, I'm like, really? Really, Megan? You were the best female team in the world. You got beaten by a bunch of 15-year-old boys. And if we do take your logic to its natural extension, Megan Rapino, then what we should be fighting for then is gender-neutral sport completely, including the Olympics. And here's what would happen. Women would stop being able to compete in anything at a high professional elite level. Mm -hmm. Because we know the reason is because men are born with superior physical bodies. Nothing else, not mental, I'm not saying they're more intelligent. In fact, oftentimes we're more stupid. But when it comes to physiology, you mm -hmm. cannot dispute the advantage that males have from birth and particularly from puberty. And that is what is at stake here. And women's sport has to be defended. It has to be protected. And this ruling is fair and it's just and it will protect women's rights. And anyone who goes against it and says it's transphobic or whatever they want to say it is, they are the ones who are the problem in this debate. Thank you. Pierre, Stephen Colbert, his production team was at the Capitol and they went into one of the congressional office buildings. They were authorized to be there. They had some interviews with different people on the Hill and they did their interviews and they ended up staying in the hallways and they started filming uh, what we call stand ups and started uh, filming some final comedy elements in the hallways. And the Capitol Police came and arrested them and said they were not authorized to be there. What's your reaction? Well, all I could think of when I heard this story was, could you imagine if that had been a team of journalists from Fox who'd been caught doing that? Could you imagine what Stephen Colbert would have done on his show if that had happened to Fox people? And that's always my litmus test with these things. If you swing it round to the other side, as he would put it, then you get the reality, which is this was shocking behaviour 
by this team from the Colbert report. They shouldn't have been doing what they were doing. They were brazenly breaking the regulations. They were being warned, apparently, early in the day not to do it. And if you're going to be Stephen Colbert lecturing everybody about the need for obeying security at the Capitol, which I would agree with him about, and the need to enforce the rules there to stop any more of the scenes that we saw on January the 6th, that's fine. If you take that position strongly, make sure your own team right. don't go and break And he was warned a bunch impunity. of times, Pierce. That's they what were they warned. were doing. They and were they warned would be to get out. Hammering, hammering Fox if it was the other way around. Yeah. And they were warned to get out a bunch of times. They didn't care. Uh, so they spent the night in jail. Right. Speaking of Fox, the Fox, rules are not for them. Fox Nation, our streaming service, every weeknight at 4 30 in the afternoon, Piers Morgan uncensored drops into their platform. We hope you watch Piers later on today. On Fox Nation. Pierce, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Pierce. Great to talk to you guys. All the best. And All for right. the record, we did not censor this entire appearance either, right? So far. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what we do for the West Coast. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs>